Welcome back to Are You Tuned In on the tryout.net network and you're on my channel Stevie Valance and today we have Aurora who's never done animation acting before but we're going to teach her, I'm going to teach her how she can be an awesome cartoon character. Um, Aurora, have you got any acting experience at all? I do. What, what do you have? On camera, theater, what is it? I did theater. And that's about it. Yeah. And uh, what did you play? What what kind of show? Was it a play? Was it a musical? Uh, we've done both musical and plays. Okay, great. That's really good. I find that animation actors, if they can sing, uh, they often stay within the melody of the character. They don't come out of character as much. So it's really great. That means you should, that she has an ear for staying in character. So this is good. So now, never having done animation before, I think we have to take this back to basics just a little bit for Aurora. So standing in front of a microphone, this is a good rule of thumb. You want to be about this far from the screen. So step up a little bit. Step up a little bit so that you're about that far. That's good. That's about that far from the screen. This stops her from pee popping or or making a sound that sounds like like a pee pop. Um, now you want to open your feet a little bit so they're about hip width apart. That's great. And now nail your feet in. You never want to move your feet. You want to move your entire upper body. Okay, but never your feet. And that way you won't fall off microphone. Sometimes we have like almost an out of body experience, I call it. Like if you're in front of the microphone and, and you're just getting so into the character and you shut your eyes and you're seeing things and you, you're off microphone a little bit. If your feet are nailed in, you'll come right back. You'll pong right back to the center like that doll with the sand on the bottom that, 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 that rocks back up after you punch it. I don't know if they still have those or not, but anyway. Um, so this is Jill. Let me just show you. Jill looks a lot like Aurora. She picked somebody who looked very much like her. She's a teenage girl. She's age 13, which is about what Aurora's age is, I imagine. And it's close enough that she would be cast as this easily, physically, and not that you need to be. You could be a 70-year-old woman and you could be auditioning, or, or you could be auditioning for a 70-year-old woman. It's about how you feel inside. But um, open your feet again. There you are. You found your position, your base. What's her position? What, 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 how is she standing? She's got her hands on her hips, doesn't she? Why don't we see if Aurora can pick the, go in the exact same position? That's right. How does that make you feel inside? Well, I feel very powerful and stubborn. Good. I like that. That's a good combination. Uh, why don't you give me one reading just as you would do it, not moving your feet, uh, just as though you really were this girl. Use your own voice. Don't even change it. How would it sound? Go for it. Little brothers are a real drag, you know? I mean, they have no concept of what the real world is all about. Like Eric, he has a stupid idea about a birthday train. Oh, yeah, I might have believed it when I was a baby. But he's, Eric's five years old, and why couldn't he have been a little sister anyway? That's great. That was really good, especially for your first audition ever for a cartoon. I'm, like, blown away. Um, so keeping that same attitude, let's go a little bit further with the energy, and um, let's let's see, what would her laugh be off the top? How If you were to just tell me what, what laugh, kind of laugh she would have looking at her picture, how would she sound? <laughs> Great. Why don't you give me a big old laugh, multiply the energy, because energy has to be really big in cartoons, no matter what it is, and give me a great big boisterous laugh off the top. <laughs> great. And who's she talking to in this? I would say her best friend. I think that's a great idea. Why don't you pretend I'm your best friend? And does she like her brother? No. No, she doesn't like her brother. So let's, it's about heart and soul. Let's really tell it like it is uh, and talk to me, your best friend. And let's imagine that you've just drunk three cappuccinos that have double mocha in them, all right? So lots of energy, lots of speed perhaps, and a great big laugh off the top. And you don't like your little brother. Just tell me, your best friend, what it's about. <laughs> little brothers are a real drag, you know? Yeah. I mean, they have no concept of what the real world is all about. Really? Like Eric, he has a stupid idea about a birthday train. Can you stand him or what? Uh, oh, yeah. I might have believed it when I was a baby. But Eric's five years old now, and why couldn't he have been a little sister anyway? That was great, and I really felt you saw your brother and you didn't like him at all. And did the laugh help free you up at all? 
It did. brought my energy out. It did. And one of the things about a laugh is it really connects you to your heart and soul because it's the truth. This is about telling the truth in your acting. It's not about overacting. It's about big acting. So the more you can really see your brother and how much he really bugs you, let's do one where he really bugs you. Here we go. Go too far. Don't be afraid to be too big. Go for it. <laughs> Little brothers are a real drag, you know? I mean, they have no concept of what the real world is all about. Like Eric, he has a stupid idea about a birthday train. Give oh. me a sound. Oh. Yeah, I might have believed it when I was a baby. Ugh. Eric is five years old now, and why can't he be a little sister anyway? Give me that sound. Ugh. Great! I love sounds. Sounds are where it lives. That's what's going to get you the part is the sounds, the stuff the playwright didn't write. The playwright doesn't write. Ugh. But because you did that, that's going to make me want you back for a callback because you added something that makes the playwright look even better. Thank you so much for tuning in again on Stevie Valance's channel. That's me, and we'll see you next Saturday. For you parents at home, something you might think about is getting a children's book and reading. Of course, children love to hear you read, but why don't you get them to read to you, and they play all of the parts, okay? We'll see you next week.